how to play defense in NHL 25. We got ourselves an Elos matchup. 6v6. I'm playing right D, playing yellow. Let's talk defense from a sixes standpoint. Good pass up. Red's got it. Basically, it's not too much different from threes. Whenever I do these kind of videos, it's usually from a three standpoint. But honestly, sixes is not too much different. In a man mark. There's just more guys out there, basically. Green's got it. Up the left boards. I was actually surprised I wasn't offside. We're trying to pass there. Quick turn back up. I'm going to cover middle since we don't have our center in play. Or our third forward. It's going to go around the net. I'm going to go up the board. That's a bad pass. Bad turnover by me. See if we can not let him capitalize. I blocked the shot. Control around net. Teal's there. He's going to control. He's going to take it. Try to find green. Working it back. Oh, we try to find it. All right, I'm going to match Witch here. Hold my stick out. Now I'm going to commit to him. I was able to just get it barely. Good drive there. Blocked. Send up quick. Red. Can't get around the bend. These defensemen are actually man working that pretty well. All right, let's see what Teal can do with it. He's going to find green. So honestly, the general idea is that from a six to standpoint when you're playing defense, the breakout is mainly should be mainly controlled from the defenseman. And how you break into the zone in a six to standpoint will allow you to control the puck in the offensive zone. When you're playing threes, it's not too much of an issue because there's a lot more ice. But now you have to have a little bit more of a, an understanding of exactly how to find uh, a lane. So you saw how I was able to control it a little bit longer than I usually would just send it up if I was playing threes. You know, you, you kind of have to control it to find... Allow your forwards to essentially find space into the zone. Great stick uh, lift there from Teal. Nice. Able to one-on-one -on -one that. And I'm going to be his support factor around that. Didn't mean to actually pass that. That's my bad. <laughs> Damn it. That's another bad turnover by me. Still warming up. You know, come on. It's only first period. Let's, you know, relax a little bit. It's going to make it interesting a little bit. Hopefully. We're going to back. So I got maybe control in the middle of the night. He's going to go maybe across. I was able to jump that route. That guy should have just taken a shot. Red was there technically as well. But he should have actually went towards the puck here. I'm at this point. If he doesn't want to pass to me, that's fine. But usually, you know, you'd want to find your defenseman at the point if he's open. If, if there is no other option there. Blue trying to take it. Backhander. Score. And that's goalie. Yeah, I was, I was expecting that to be goalie interference. What isn't that? Wait, did he get tripped there oh, initially? Yeah, right there he got tripped. No. So that should be... It's not going to be a goal, but it should be a power play, if I'm not mistaken. And that actually shouldn't be a... Oh, it, it is a goal. Okay, I was about to say, it shouldn't be goalie interference either way anyway, because he got tripped into the goalie by, you know, his own teammate. So, all right. Teal. Nice. Feed up. The problem is, right, these guys don't have a lot of speed. So the general idea right when you have pressure find your opposite defenseman if there is no forward that is you know going with speed that's open ah that's okay whatever i try to keep it in but so we'll man mark the middle here control hold my stick out which eh, it doesn't have it i'm gonna control a little bit maybe green he's there green could have maybe took in it to the left a little bit sooner i'm not sure but you see how i'm like holding the puck on or a little bit longer i'm not just sending it up because these guys across nope he tried to drive it himself i was able to get it just barely and not in the skate find red but you see that's kind of a bad pass technically because he's they're going up very quickly and they're they're just the other teams is like trapping it up let's see if he goes off the boards nope i'm gonna take it around so blue cut in which allowed me my bad blue and actually didn't mean to Jump in your way there. Which has on the back check. Man mark him. Nope. Find a cross. Nice. Good job, Teal. Trying to be his support factor around the net. Now I'm going to jump up, actually. Control. Find red. I'm going to drive in a little bit. I'm actually going to take it back. Green's up. I'm back now for him. Nobody rotated behind me. Wow. Good hip check there on red. <laughs> All right. We'll just take what's there. Pursue this guy. Man mark the middle. Nice. Teal. Okay, good. That's, you know, kind of a bad first period by me, technically. You know, a couple turnovers. It's one thing you want to do, right? Especially when you're playing six, is you want to notice the tendencies of the other team. So the first thing I'm noticing is that the other team is actually pressuring a lot more. And, uh, you know, you, you kind of have to, you know, when you're controlling the puck, you got to be aware of that. 
know when to use your opposite defenseman, know when to send it up quick. But you got to make sure the force that you are sending it up to um, have space to, and time and space to actually make something happen. If you just send it to them and they like instantly lose it, that's a bad pass on you, not them. Although technically they could also be in a better lane, right? Like a, they could have been in a better spot to find themselves space. So, uh, I'll, oof, chance in front. So there is no dunking, right? We're playing Elos, right? So there's no dunk. Blue, nope. I wanted, I kind of wish blue would go back. I'm going to be, all right, let's reset it. Find it across, teal. That he thought it was going to go up, actually. Blue goes around, down low to green. I'll find him at the point. I'm going to take a shot here. Tip by green. Good chance, a good job getting in front of the net. Just looking for something there. All right, now we're going to man mark. Good hit there by Teal. And I intercept that. I rotate over and cover the man. Nice. There we go. So power play here. We'll see if they give it to the point here. And then we can control it. Find either our, our wingers wide or maybe our center for a deflection. Or for maybe even like a bumper play. We want to pressure because we are on the power play. They're just kind of trying to kill the clock. So we're going to play back here. Can't do too much, you know. I mean, we are a defenseman. That's it. That's a tough pass. He was in transition there. I'm surprised it's not an icing, actually. Red controlling it. We'll get back to the point if you need to. And he tried. He, he, I mean, the safer play would have been just a teal. I'm going to play his right side here. Red's got it. So the problem is, right, again, we're sending it up early. So now the forwards have to make something happen. And now, you know, it leads to something like this where we don't really have it. So we didn't have anything on that power play. Green on the quick transition. It's getting pursued there. What I'm noticing from their defensemen is they're just kind of staying over the top. They're, let, they're letting the back check actually do the work, which is one thing you should have, you should be doing when you are playing defense. Ooh, send it up. Here we go, red. Quick transition. Gonna make something happen. Teal picks it up. Turn over there. I'm gonna man mark here. I'm gonna pursue Ben. Stay there. They're trying to use the LT little rotate. I think it's like the Mohawk move, they call it. LT back up. Red's out of position. I'm going to rotate back to the middle. And then they may try to find a high 1T. Rotating there. Good cut play, actually. Good play there. Nice. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it all the way. Nope. Fine green. I'm going to go back down low for him. Red in front. Score. Nice. Great play. That's a great drive there from Red. Good job by uh, Green getting that puck down low again. I was able to just turn and burn, try to find a pass in front. It was a good. It was actually a good turn by me. I, I don't usually get those types of like smooth turns, but I actually the vision control actually helps with that, man. I tell you, because I can actually turn and like get it and then send it right to the middle if I want. Icing there, nice. But it's a good play. It's a good quick play. Two nothing right now. Look, he's trying to... Yep, that's actually that's actually a pretty good move because I can't poke check there. That's like the LT pivot from in previous years. So, Mohawk, there's actually a... Ooh, that's, that, that's kind of tough. I had to stay with the uh, potential centering pass there. I couldn't move to the other guy. That's on Teal to try to stay more inside of him. He poke checked. The guy got towards the inside and he got tripped up a little bit. But that's all right. You got to be able to adapt to your teammates, like what they're doing. You have to be able to have a style that's adaptable, not just like one dimension, right? Some guys just play it one way and that's it. Not sure where Red's going. It's, you know, PK, but it's not like, you know, <laughs> we got to play friggin' right, right in front of our goalie. Nice pressure there. Now green, and all of a sudden Red tries to like jump up like he's, okay. <laughs> like he's going to go on a breakaway on the PK now. Like, okay. Like try try to pick one. Oh my God, deflected twice. Good block out of the way. Hip check. We're going to try to center in front. Get the puck out. I can't. Damn. I'm going to play tough here. Tough here. Nice. Back check. Nice. Good job there from red. So there isn't really a trap from our team so much. So, yep. I'm going to eye that down. I'm going to try to find Y here. Or, uh, yeah, Y essentially the icon. So, red. <laughs> Icon passing is something good. You want you want to do that, I think, a little bit in sixes, especially when you're trying to find a particular pass. I got tape to tape on as well, so usually Icon does work with tape to tape. He's going to drive right to the middle. Loses that. They'll have to reset. Hold the line here. They don't have any speed. 
could always rotate it back if we ever do get it, but it doesn't seem like this team wants to do that. Good move there from Ben. Controlling. A couple seconds left. Just get the puck out. We can't. Can't get the puck. He's going to try to find wide. Yep, I saw that all day. Ooh, in front. Nice. Good cover there, goalie. That's a good play, but you saw what they were doing, right? You got to understand the tendencies of the other team. They always try to work it through the middle. Then they try to find a wide 1T pass. So I was able to jump that just in time to block it. All right, third period. So now you look at the score and then you dictate how you want to play. So this team obviously is down by two, right? The other team. So we, you know, when you're playing defense. You want to play a little bit more conservative. Not too conservative. You don't want to just completely stop what you're doing. But you don't want to give away any like big plays or any good plays i'm gonna poke check that play across here nice he's not ready ah that's kind of tough man i probably could have went d to d there honestly i looked at blue too long there up control here find green wide oh he's got nothing i didn't even see the stamina bar i'm gonna jump a little bit here control find blue down maybe in front play nice shot score nice on the rebound the other team wasn't covering that all that well when you make a jump, you got to make sure that it's the right play, obviously, right? Like, you got to make sure there's also a rotation. If you're the high forward in that play, right, you'd want to rotate behind your defenseman. Now, I didn't actually jump into the play. I just kind of took it and then sent it right away. So, it wasn't uh, like there was a rotation needed. But those are, like, the type of rotations that would need to be taking place if I were to continue with that puck. You know, whoever that high forward was, right? But it's not necessarily defensive, you know. A defensive play. Good play. Blacks. Try to dipsy do too much. Nice. That's a really good pressure from the uh, defenseman there. Honestly, on, on red. Holding his stick out. And just putting his body right in front of him. Stops him. Red took a penalty. That's what you want to limit. Nice back. Ooh, he's going to try to find him wide. Another block. Give me that block, man. I've, I've noticed. I've actually started blocking a lot more shots. I don't know if it's just reading the plays and just in a better spot or maybe the game is giving us more blocked and like more block animations it's it's not not even an animation my guy's just in front of the bot you know just in front of the lane We're back in the pk again yep want to jump that oh tough you might go back to him that's why i'm like staying in front of him here gonna look for a cut then a poke check there pursue now shoot it out damn i try to i try to slap shot that again man it's like i'm like miss clicking something it's not even a misclick it's just a miss input i went back on the stick first i don't even know where green's going here he's gonna take out i'll take middle dipsy dangle there's a shot to stay back maybe looking for a cut there nope i have seen that that defenseman jump he takes like the wide route then he tries to send it like right in front again you're gonna try to find a wide yep i'm like right there blocked but couldn't get it and then i immediately nice what a pass what was that tape to tape that's why you need tape to tape oh good try there red playing their points safe they don't even need to send it to me honestly i mean they're up three nothing just control it nope i'm not gonna jump that three and two nice good job there teal i'm playing back door good drive good save red again man that uh guapo guy man that guy's good you can tell the way he's playing defense man marking well Gonna maybe try to find a cup play. I thought they were gonna. He didn't. He didn't send that. It's a missed opportunity. Poke check. Getting their way there. Nice. Good job, goalie. Just sending that to a safe zone. Green up to red. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play it safe. I, he, yeah. I didn't. I didn't, didn't want to go up there because I didn't want to risk uh, an easy turnover for another on man rush. I, I don't think any plays gone behind me except almost right now. Hold the stick out. Poke check. I was able to get it. No, he got another rebound. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Blue. Ah, I'm trying to get it past them. It's a penalty anyway, so. Up for blue. Lost it. Again, man, that, that, that guapo guy knows how to play defense, I'll tell you. Guys got no, no stamp trying to find a centering pass. Nope. Good hit there, Teal. Playing middle. Nice. Oh, yeah. We're, oh, we're on the power play. I didn't even know. Yeah, right. But these, these guys trying to go shorthanded. They have, like, no freaking stand to play with. They're just going body check the guy. That's actually a wrong play by me. But let me try and score. No! I want to get by that guy. I was going to do a little LT move. Let's go red. All right. Didn't want hat. All right. I'm going to rotate back to this point. 
Yeah, he's just playing by, by himself there. You saw, like, red goes to the point, so then I'll cut, like, down low for him. And then he goes back down low, so then I'll rotate back to the point. It's like that that instant rotation, right? When you see that, it's not even like a call that's needed. You just know that, hey, you know, somebody's moving to the point. It's like a, a little switch play to sort of, sort of move the defense. Now, in, in this case, it really didn't matter. But just that instant, like that instinct is kind of what you want to have when you're playing this game. F 15 seconds left. Oh, no. Breaking free. That guy, if that guy had green bar, he's gone, man. Yeah, that, guy, that guy was gone for the races. Nice. Five seconds left. And we got a shutout in this one. Scored from red as he blasted point blank on the goalie. But yeah, this is uh, Elo's, right? So if you guys are a member of the Bufflin server, um, if I can have a link down below in the description, I'll put it there. But uh, it's a good, uh, you know, if you want a little bit more competitive, like ranked matches, um, not just the drop-ins where guys just leave. You want actual like teams set up and you kind of get drafted essentially. Um, it's an easy way to just get a lot of reps in and with a full team, right? Because these guys won't quit. If they do, they get like a ban or something. I, I'm not even sure what the uh, punishment is, but it's actually good reps, right? So um, something that Matt Max is going to do a little bit more, especially when it comes to like this type of series of mastering defense, just kind of doing a little bit of ELO's gameplay, right? It, you know, that's how to play defense from a sixes standpoint. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll catch you guys next time.